Hello, this is Dr. Russ from Dr. Russ Air, Air uh, Rifle Adventures. And uh, we're following up with a review today on what I think might be the nicest air gun I've ever had in my hands. And uh, then we linked up with uh, uh, Zach Matthews here in North Georgia. And uh, I said, why not let the man who brings these guns into the country and makes them available to all of us. Why don't we let him do the review? So sitting right next to me here is Zach. Zach, what air rifle am I talking about? Uh, you're looking at the 2022 Hooven 25 caliber. It's a semi-automatic. Um, it's hammerless, so it don't have a hammer in it that hits the valve. It's all that, done by air pressure. That means you don't hear it when you've got your ear up to the, the gun? Correct. So that sound is gone. Right. Um, it's 5,000 PSI. It does have a regulator. Um, you can get around 45 shots with this gun. I'm seeing a lot of holes right here, Zach. Right. <clears throat> that's that moderated barrel, so that's allowing some air to come all the way back here and out. Am I correct? Right. A, a little bit of air will come out, not that much. Um, I, I imagine it does help the sound a little bit. Um, just if you get the synthetic stock. I'm going to let everybody know this does not have the holes in it. This is just a metal shroud. Okay. So the Woodstock is definitely the premium gun. The, it's a little bit more expensive. Um, it's around $300 more. So. Now why do, you, uh, why do you not need five or six magazines on this gun? Uh, it has one magazine on it. Um, 25 caliber. It's 17 rounds. Um, if you do 22 caliber, you're getting 19 rounds. And that that magazine stays in the gun all the time? It stays in the gun. It's very easy to load, uh, to fire this gun. That's all you do. It's ready to fire. If there's air in the gun, it's going to fire. And it has a regulator. This is your regulator here. Okay. If you want to load this magazine, all you do is flip this lever up like this. Let me turn it around like this. And this one is loaded. You flick the lever and then you turn it. Load the pellets, the slugs in there. Once you get it all the way loaded, just rotate the magazine one more time to make sure everything's pushed in there because you don't want to jam. Um, the magazine actually becomes the barrel, so it actually shoots from the magazine into the barrel. So, and then you just lock this back down and it's ready to fire. Uh, right here is a power wheel. If you turn it in, it decreases the power. If you turn it out, you gain power. Um, so you can actually get this all the way down to about 350 feet per second in 22. And you could probably push pellets around close to 1300 feet per second in 22 caliber. Uh, 25 um, full power, you're probably gonna get around uh, about 1180 feet per second. That's if you up the power all the way, but um, any light pellets, it's going to be supersonic. It's going to be pretty loud. But in this one here, I use the JSB, the, the MK2 33.95, and I got it set on high power, so I'm shooting her almost about a thousand feet per second in this gun. I see a, a green balance leveler there. Right. It's, gonna, it's built right into the gun. Uh, that's, that's something that they added, which is very nice. Um, I personally don't really use it because my scopes are already lined up perfect. As long as your crosshairs are even, this is going to be pretty good. Um, on this one I have the FX No Limit Scope Rings. And I'm using the Helix 4x16x44 by by on this one. Now I always want to get at least a 20 inch barrel. And this is a bullpup. And bullpups see, people see bullpups as something that's shorter. Right. But not in this case. No, this one has a 27 inch barrel. So your barrel is going to start right here and it's going to go all the way about three inches from the end. So there are some baffles in there which is going to help the sound. But this gun is not that loud anyway. So it's semi auto. Semi auto. It's 27 inch barrel. 27 inch barrel. It's got the balance in it. Every chain has its weakest point, Zach. What's the weakest point of this gun? Mm, I really can't find a whole lot about this gun that I don't like. Um, if I had to guess, maybe this right here, um, it's plastic, but this one here is metal now. Um, anytime you load this gun, you flick it up, load it, and hold it and let it down slow. Don't slam it because you don't want to break it. But in the, in the past, they were plastic, but this one here is metal, but I would still be careful with it. 
Um, other than that, I don't really see any weak, weak parts of this gun at all. Is is the uh, stock cushion on the back? Is it adjustable? Uh, this one here is no. It, it's fixed. It's fixed. Okay. But it fits. It fits real good to the shoulder and everything. And this is a walnut um, Hooben. Um, they don't give you a lot of walnut. Um, they only give you like a small percentage of guns. So whatever your order is, they're gonna say, okay, we're only gonna give you like maybe one or two wood something like that um, they hand make them which is really good quality this is my personal gun here I do have it in 22 also this is 25 okay uh, we're gonna shoot a melon here next so let's take a look at that okay. Not too good. Looking good from here. That's it. Okay, seventeen shots. 19 if you're shooting 22. Okay. Let's know. take a look. We're wanting to make sure Paula's mastered this air gun because this is the one she's going to be using in on our iguana hunt as we move from North Florida down to, or rather North Georgia, down to South Florida. Well, she did not beat Zach, who's off on the right, but uh, everything here seems to be within, I don't know, the in the six ring. So hitting the head of a hitting the head of an iguana at this distance should be easy. As you can see, Dr. Paul is quite a shot here at about uh, 25 yards. Uh, Zach, do you think you can beat this? Uh, I'm going to give it a try. Okay. I'm going to give it a try. Uh, there's some fresh targets <laughs> down there, and there's a water uh, cantaloupe. Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> I got 5,000 PSI in the gun, and I'm shooting the JSB MK2 33.95s. Alrighty. You going to shoot the target or the melon? I can go for the target, I guess. Or you want me to shoot the melon? Let's shoot the melon first. All right, let's do the melon. And semi-automatic, it does. It looks like Zach's a pretty good shot. Put holes right through that melon. That was nice shooting. He was putting them right in the center of the cantaloupe and that got boring and the hole was appearing so he just purposely shot to the side just to see more of that cantaloupe, cantaloupe bounce off. Uh, I don't know if people know this but one of the finest barrel companies is I think it's out of Germany called Lothar, Walter Lothar and uh, boy you pay a lot of money for their barrels. I think everything about a gun is often about that barrel, the type of rifling. FX now makes their own uh, barrels that are very, very nice. There's only a few companies that make really, really good rifle barrels. And the Hooban used to have the uh, Lothar Walther barrel in it. Now they say they've mastered that and they're making their own barrels. And from the type of uh, targets I've seen here, I think maybe they have. Paula shot a real good target moments ago. Zach just shot a nice cantaloupe. Now let's see what Zach does with the target.
That's it. Okay, we've got a different Hooban to show you. Kind of different. Hooban only makes these uh, bull pups in a 22 and a 25. And in an earlier video, we showed you the 25. But here's the 22. Uh, and you can see the gun's very similar. Here's the lever that locks in the, the magazine, the, the uh, regulator. Uh, he's put a, a scope on it. Here again is the wood stock. And you see these little air escape holes, which uh, make up the moderated barrel. No silencer or suppressor, but it does have a moderated barrel. And it, if you look at this ammunition, Zach is using, when he comes to 22, this is his favorite round in the Hooban. It's almost a slug. It still has an indentation, and it's the JSB Jumbo Monster Diablo. This thing weighs uh, 25 grains. Uh, any idea what kind of energy it has at the end of the target? It's probably putting out around 90, 90 foot pounds around there. Let's see what kind of group it shoots. <clears throat> All right, this is what Zach just shot with that Hooban, the 22 caliber. Did a pretty good job there. So there's uh, Zach 17 shots. Here's uh, Dr. Paulus at uh, this yard. That's a good shooting. And uh, of course, Zach shot at this cantaloupe which might be leaking here till tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay, excellent gun. If uh, you like today's video, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, write them down. I always respond. And if you want one of these human, you might just give Zach Matthews a call. He's got them.